In this video, I want to show you the easiest way to upgrade your Windows 10 PC to Windows 11. To do this, you need first to make sure that your version of Windows 10 is 2004 or better. And also, you need to make sure that you have 9GB of empty space on your C drive. And also, you need to make sure that you have a license key for Windows 10. So I'm going to show you here how to check for the version, how to check also for the disk space, and how to check for the license. So let me show you quickly on your Windows 10 device how to check for this. So on your Windows 10 machine, do the following. Open Explorer, and then under Explorer, right-click this PC, and then choose Properties. So under Properties, you have the version, which is here. So here, as you see, I have version 20H2, which is higher than version 2004. So for the version, I am good. The second thing I'm going to check is the hard drive of my PC, and I'm going to check the operating system drive. So if you have multiple hard drives, just check your operating system drive. So click on this PC, and the operating system drive, you can recognize it by the Windows logo here. So click on it, and you see here that I have almost 55 gigabytes of free space. So I am good because the required free space is 9 gigabytes or more. And the third thing I'm going to check is the Windows activation. I'm going to check if my Windows 10 PC is activated. So in the search box here, simply key in activation and then click on activation settings. And you see here that my Windows 10 is activated. So I'm good to go and to upgrade my Windows 10 PC to Windows 11. And it should be the same for you too before starting the upgrade. So before I start, please note that the instructions I'm going to show you, you should perform them all on your Windows 10 machine that you want to upgrade to Windows 11. So let's start. The first thing to do is to open your web browser and go to a site that is the Microsoft download site. So I'm going to walk you through each step and I'm going to show you each step one by one how to perform this. So let me switch to my screen recording and now open the web browser and go to this site which is microsoft.com slash software dash download and hit enter. And on this site here, choose Windows 11. So click on Windows 11. And here you have all these options. The option that is of interest to us is the Windows 11 Installation Assistant. So under this option here, just click on Download Now. And when you download, there's a program called Windows Installation Assistant that will be downloaded. So you need to run this program. So I'm going to click on Open File here. You can find this program in your Downloads folder. So I'm going to click on Yes to let it run. And here, feel free to read the license agreement. And then click on Accept and Install. And here, all you have to do is to wait. You have three steps, as you see. So the first step is it will download the Windows 11 ISO image, which is 5.1 gigabytes. So it might take a while, depending on your internet speed. The second step is it will verify the ISO image automatically. And the third step is it will install Windows 11. So here you can keep using your PC. Of course, if you use your PC, you will slow down the download and you will slow down the installation. So my advice to you here is that if you really don't need your PC, do not use it so that the download will be faster and the installation afterwards, it will be faster. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes. So now the download is almost finished. As you see, it is at 99%. And now, Windows 11 Installation Assistant starts verifying the download automatically. It is very fast. And here it is installing Windows 11. So here too, it will take a while to install Windows 11. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the installation is almost finished. When the installation program reaches 70%, it slows down a little bit. So do not worry here and just wait for it and do not restart your PC if you think that it is locked or something. It is simply slower after 70%, but it will continue. 
So when the installation finishes here, it will give you a timer so that it will restart automatically by itself or you can click on restart now. Of course, you can also reschedule the restart. So now I'm going to switch to an external camera and I'm going to click on restart now and we will continue the setup. So now I switch to an external camera and I'm going to click on restart now. Of course, before restarting the PC, make sure that you saved all your files and that you closed all the programs that you're working on. And just wait for the PC to restart. And here's the PC restarting. And when the PC restarts, as you see, it will start updating for Windows 11. And it is telling you here that, that it might restart a few times. So just be patient and wait for it and do not interrupt it. If it restarts, just leave it to restart and just wait for it to finish. So now the PC restarted in Windows 11 as you saw. So I'm gonna log in. And then after I log in, I'm gonna show you how it activated also. So here, just give it a minute. It is very important here to be patient and do not interrupt the PC. So now, as you see, it upgraded to Windows 11. So here I'm going to show you how it activated automatically using the Windows 10 product key that I had on my PC. So on the start menu, I'm going to go to settings. And under settings system here, you have something called activation. So under activation, you see that Windows 11 is activated. So that was all for upgrading your Windows 10 PC to Windows 11. If you want to install Windows 11 on a new PC or you want to wipe the PC, please take a look in the description on a video I made earlier that will show you step by step how to install Windows 11 on a new PC or how to install Windows 11 on a PC that you want to wipe its hard drive. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.